You're listening to the Radio Ammo Breakfast, only on Kiwi. And talking to Great North, I think that's where Ariel L is uh, joining us today, or this afternoon, or midday, where he is in Salt Lake City, Utah. Ariel L, hello. Well, how are you, mate? Oh. It's been a couple of weeks. Are you well? Are you well? <laughs> I'm, I'm very well, but I'm very intrigued um, as to why you are in Salt Lake City. Now, now for, for those who are geographically, uh, you know, they're not, the, the knowledge isn't there, um, where, where exactly is that? Well, basically, if you sort of, uh, if you think about where LA is, you sort of, you go across, you go across a few, about a thousand kilometres across, and then you go another thousand kilometres up. Right. And you get into the, uh, you sort of go across the Grand Canyon, and then you get into the Great Salt, the, the Great Plateau, where the Great Salt Lake is, which uh, is, and then pretty much there, there is uh, Salt Lake City, which sort of sits on the edge of the, uh, sits on the edge of the big plateau, and, and uh, it's, a, it's an amazing little town, oh, amazing city, actually, because it sort of sits there, and it's, so clean, but um, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm standing here in about a foot of snow actually. Where am I? Let's see, a dump last night, but I'm over here on a wee bit of uh, got a couple of riffraff with me, and we're sort of um, we came over here. We're hanging out, we're hanging out, riding up at uh, we we rode at Bryson yesterday, and we're going up to Park City tomorrow, and wow. hanging here for a few days, and then off to New York on I think on Wednesday or Thursday for a few days, and hanging out and just having a wee bit of a winter, uh, having a wee bit of a winter break because you know the weather's not really playing the game back in New Zealand, is it? No, so it, we thought we'd. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come over here, do a bit of do a bit of uh, do a bit of riding, have a bit of fun, and then uh, come back and enjoy the uh, and, and also get away from all that Christmas fear that's going on as well. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's enjoy, more. Enjoy the summer. I'm sure it's more Christmassy over there than it is here. Well, no, it's not actually. They uh, they don't actually really push the old Christmas button over here. Where they they, no. they call it they, everywhere you see. You don't see New Christmas. You see Happy Holidays. And um, they don't, you know, they're not, they're not terribly into the old Christmas spirit, eh? but they do decorate everything up. Like you go down the main street of Salt Lake City, and like every tree has got like a million fairy lights in it and everything. Yeah. But uh, you don't see a lot of reindeer, you don't see a lot of Santa Clauses, and uh, you know they play the whole thing down quite a lot actually. But um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why that is. Well, maybe maybe it's it's still yet to, to build up because because of course they have the whole Thanksgiving thing, so there's a bit of crossover going on there, I suppose. Yeah, no, they do have the, the Thanksgiving's a monster, and then also in July, which is which is basically their middle of their summer. That's where they have their big holidays, and of course, that's you know that's where the, that's that's when it officially the school term finishes as well. So it's a um, you know it's a big time for us. So you know you, they sort of you know obviously there and they're, they're, we're in, we've got a switch of the seasons going on. But uh, you know I must admit, mate, Salt Lake City is if you ever get a chance to come and visit, it's well worth it. It's it's mate, it's so clean and so pristine. Of course, it's run by the old the, the, the Mormons over here. They're pretty much in control of the right. whole place. So, you know, you don't you, you wouldn't see one scrap of rubbish on the on the side of the road, and everything's very prim and proper. Now, near, nearby there is is that where they do those land speed records? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. that's where Bert, Bert Munro basically he's um, he he does that, and it's very um, yeah, industry wise. It pretty much has some of the largest copper mines in the um, in the states. As we flew in, I, I, we were going over one mountain, and then all of a sudden the mountain beside it looked like it had actually been dug out. Uh-huh. The size of what the mountain was, there was a massive hole in the ground where they've basically extracted a whole lot of um, whole lot of copper and bits and pieces. And it's, uh, yeah, so it's, but yeah, apart it's, from it was. It was well, well, I'll just say to the city, apart from looking nice, um, are, are there any sort of attractions there, anything to see? Oh, not really, mate. No. Not really. It's the snow. You, know, you, 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 you fly across America, mate, and seriously, it's just one big desert, and then occasionally you'll see these big big cities. But it, but it's quite amazing. Like, you go across it during the... But if you fly across it during the day, it looks like a big flat desert with nothing going on, and then you fly across it at night, and it looks like... And it looks like a... You know, it looks... It, it look, it look, there's lights everywhere, so yeah. it's... Um, you know, but, it's a bit... But are there, are there any crazy. are there any attractions in the city itself? Like, is there anything to go and do? And well, not that I'm aware of. No. Mate. We're we're purely here to go snowboarding. Yeah. We had a, uh, of course, it was Saturday night last night, so we had an up night. So we're having a wee bit of a down day, if you get what it means. <laughs> well, yeah, fair enough. I, well, how would you rate the snow there as compared to um, the, the New Zealand winter? Well, I tell you, it's basically I've picked up a little bit now, Wemo, and you'll throw it in the air, and it's just like fluffy little, you know, it's really high and dry. You know, you've got to drink like a, a litre of water an hour over here, to really just to hydrate yourself, because it's really high, al- high alpine, and 
know, you're in, you're inside and, you know, air conditioning all the time, so you're p- pumping, pumping the water in here to keep alive. And it's not like the New Zealand conditions, which are very, um, which is, you know, you know, influenced a lot by the, the ocean, which is a lot wetter. So yeah. it's, uh, it's high and dry, I think and, you would. But, um, and you'd be snowboarding you know, amongst trees as well? You know, it's snowboarding and trees. And where we're going tomorrow is actually Park City is where the, um, where, where the uh, Sundance Film Festival is actually held, so there's a wee, there's, there's a bit of culture going on around here. There's no doubt about that, and you know we run into a bit of you know. But it's a it's a it's a great it's a great wee spot. No, but I'm actually looking forward to going to New York yeah. on Thursday because that's that's where that's where things definitely get amped up. And I love that city. It's the best of it's the best of pretty much. You know, you've got that American thing, and then you've got the European thing, and it's where cultures clash and. Pretty much, we're um, we're you know you get to you get to see the both best best of both worlds. Will you be heading out to see some live music at all? Yeah, no, I'll be going to see a bit. Of, we'll be going to see a bit of live music. We'll be going to you know check out the check out some stores and actually this this time I'm on my list of things to do I haven't done yet is I've opened up the Empire. I mean the um, Statue of Liberty. So um, I'm quite keen oh, to get on the old Staten, Staten Island ferry, go over to the uh, Statue of Liberty and look out over look out over eye. Nice. Nice. It's good. Yes, I'll, it's, take it's, a photo it's, and I'll take a photo for you, Wayne, and I'll send it over yeah. your way. Yes, do. Please do. It's, I think in New York City, it's okay to do all the classic tourist things because, cause gosh, I mean, that's what it's all about, I reckon, eh? Oh, it's, oh, it's brilliant, mate. And I, one of my favourite things is definitely is, um, you know, in the, middle of the, in, in the middle of the park, Central Park there, they yeah. have all these horses that you can go through the park at night and, uh, you know, and horse-drawn carriages and all sorts of bits and pieces. Very, you know, it's fantastic. So uh, You and your buddies? You and your buddies? Well, are the, <laughs> isn't that, is, is, isn't, that a, isn't that meant to be a romantic thing? I don't want to say who your buddies, but uh, no, you... there's no rem- there's no romance in this one, mate. They're definitely, they're, 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 <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't cuddle up next to these ones. I'll tell you that right now. They'll be ice skating no. as well in Central Park, will they not? No, oh, no, I don't know about that. I've got pretty huh? dodgy knees these days. I've got to strap them up pretty pretty hard, <laughs> even just to keep keep the old snowboard on, mate. Quite quite happy but, to uh, yeah, we're quite happy to snowboard though, isn't it? Yeah. But you know, love it. But looking but looking for you know left left me a little flatland of Christchurch, which you know which I love dearly. But um, I tell you what, it's it's great, you know, you, ca- you come away, you see the rest of it, and then you come back to the flat city and you go, geez, life's easy here. And I also wonder, um, uh, do, you, do you listen to music as you're snowboarding? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Hey, well, have definitely. You, so you've, got some, you've got some Kiwi tunes on the iPhone? Well, mate, actually, it's funny you said that. I, I, um, I, was in, I was in this big big store yesterday and I was flicking through and on this big pile of CDs up on the... Uh, <laughs> On the counter of the store, and, and who would it be? But it's the new Flight of the Concords album, oh, that? Which, oh, yeah. which was which was in prime prime time, and, and it's got the new lyrics of the songs and even the guitar chords. So I got a couple of those. I've got a couple of Christmas presents to throw at people when they go when they go back. So um, I was quite impressed about that. But um, but a new music. But I, I, I tell you what, the music scene over here it's nothing like New Zealand, mate. We don't know how lucky we are in New Zealand. Yeah, I bet, the, uh, I, I bet you I, don't have any of this on your iPod. Some upbeats. Oh, I do actually. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh yeah, I've got lots of the like, Jeremy and the Jeremy, Jeremy and the, oh mate, those guys are great. Yeah, well, this is um, this is some new upbeats. Nice to talk to you in um, in Salt Lake City or nearby in Utah. I will, mate, and I'll be um, I'm back in a I'm back in you know, oh, Friday week or something. So hopefully, I will catch you before the Christmas before Christmas comes around. Lovely. Have you bought me a present? Uh, uh, about that. Um, yeah, radio. <laughs> Good on you, mate. See you later. <laughs> See ya. Ariel L. Joining us there from somewhere high up on a mountain in the snow. Lovely stuff.